We're in Windows Server 2012 R2, although you could be in 2016, 2012 R1, or any of the 2008s. I'm going to show you how to reset the administrator password without purchasing any software or using any Linux DVDs or anything like that. So uh, let's say we forgot what our administrator password is. So we've got quite a problem. So what we need to do is we need to boot off the DVD. Now I'm showing you how to do this in a virtual machine. Uh, however, um, you could do it in, in a physical machine as well. So I'm showing on virtual machine because that way I can show you what happens when it boots up. So I'm restarting my virtual machine and when it comes back up and it prompts me, it's going to say, do you want to boot from the DVD? And I'll go ahead and press any key and it'll now boot from the DVD. Once it's booted up, we're going to uh, choose the repair option and then we're going to go from there. So we'll go ahead and click repair your computer. And from here, we'll click on Troubleshoot, and we'll choose Command Prompt. So we've got our command prompts. We need to find out what is our partition that is running Windows. Let's go ahead and uh, type in Disk Part, and then we're going to do a List Vol command to see which volumes are on our server. So List, V-O-L, Enter. And we see lots of different volumes. So which one is the Windows volume? Well. We can see here that uh, we've got a CD-ROM. It's probably not that one, so it's probably not the F drive. Uh, it's not the C drive, because that's only 350 megabytes. Uh, it could be the E drive, which is 39 gigabytes. That's what I think it's going to be. And it could also be the 14 gigabyte uh, D drive. So it could be either E or D. Now, the reason I don't think it's D is because it's labeled as new volume. So I'm guessing that was added on maybe as a backup drive or something different like that. I'm going to go with the E drive is probably our Windows. So we'll go ahead and type exit. And then we'll type E colon. I'm going to type CLS to get us at the top of the screen. And then I'm going to type in CD space Windows. And if I get my proper response, oh, then I'm in the right uh, volume. So fantastic. And I'm going to type in CD system 32. So now uh, we can go ahead and rename one of these files. So we're going to type in rename or REN utilman.exe. And utilman is normally used for the ease of access for people with dis disabilities. So uh, we're going to replace that with um, a command prompt. So we're going to type in utilman.old, hit enter. Now we're going to do a copy cmd.exe to utilman.exe. So we've just replaced the utilman file with a command prompt. And all this will make a lot more sense after we click continue on into Windows 2012 R2. And again, this works with 2016 or any other version back to 2008. Not tested it on 2003, but it's certainly possible. Make sure you don't boot from DVD after um, you hit the continue on to Windows, because we do not want to boot from the DVD a second time. We just want to go right into our Windows uh, login. All right, we'll go ahead and do the uh, Windows Control Alt Delete to log in, and then we'll be able to continue. So we see that uh, we've got our prompt to log in, but we don't know what it is. So we're going to go over to where it says Ease of Access. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And you might find it on the left side, you might find it on the right side, depends on which version of Windows you're in. So now when we click on that, instead of getting the electronic keyboard, we now get this command prompt. So we're going to type in net user, and I assume that your administrator password or username is administrator. So net user administrator, and now we're going to reset the password. So I'm going to do password one. The reason I'm doing that one is because I know it meets the complexity requirements, even though it's not a very good password. It has a zero in it. It has you know, so numbers. It has a capital letter in it. So it's good. Now I need to add one more switch, and that is domain. So that way it knows to change the password on the domain rather than the local workstation, because there is no local workstation, of course, when you are uh, using a domain controller. So we'll hit enter. It says it was successful. Now we'll type exit. And I'll type in my new password. And look at that, we're logged in. We have reset the Active Directory password without purchasing any software and without having major problems. <laughs> so there we go, our password's reset. And again, this works on 2008, 2012, as well as 2016.